Do not enter easy into this dark space. There are no route maps, no waypoints, no warnings. This is a self-defeating path, an obsessive quest in search of that which prowls within. In the midnight garden, secrets glide, hover, whispered, better left unsaid. Truths, half truths, maybe truths, all bound as one in the breathless absence of tomorrow's light. Here, La Luna rules, fickle, imperious, awakening a taste of wondering, anticipating the fullness of one small word, could. The crack of a door left open in the mystic half-light of our own imaginings. Soundlessly, a carapace gently closes over diaphanous wings, cosseting their psychedelic colors in a leafy tomb. But don't let the silence fool you. This place has a different frequency. As microscopic legs creep, pounce, and mandibles crunch, voracious. There is no immortality on this night of strange magic. Sometimes, on just such a night, selkies come ashore here, peel off their skins, hang them to dry on branches hidden in some dense tangle. They linger, but always waiting for the silent call of deep ocean to summon them home. They prepare to stay a while, but never long enough for those with fragile hearts. Such is the sureness of their bewitching beauty that they do speak of that which will remain, a pernicious residue of all that is no more. But it's a warning cloaked in nonchalance, insouciant, insignificant in the bright moments of their presence. Words are as feathers floating, only to be snarled in the immortal web of forever, stored in the archives of our own misunderstanding. Listen for the whispers, warnings from the Valkyries. Leaves begin to rustle. The first harsh breath of storm comes gentle to announce such cataclysm. Yet, there are those who choose to wander under the violence of a storm-cracked sky. Trampling slivers of a fallen moon scattered at their feet, they advance, unperturbed, indifferent to the tumult all around. They are bearers of forbidden fruit, holding out false passports, tickets to a brief freefall of bliss, escape, safe haven in the yin of their cool embrace. But it's only for moon shadows, a midnight's perfumed nest, never meant to last for the listening of snowflakes falling. And it leaves a dark that has no name, neither blue nor black nor indigo, comes unbidden, stays too long, perhaps forever blotting out the passion of a morning sunrise. <laughs>